Sarah Thompson is originally from San Francisco, California, and is a member of the women's soccer team. She has graduated in May with a double major in philosophy and American studies with a concentration in American Indian and Indigenous studies. Sarah has been named to the Dean's List seven times and has earned a perfect 4.0 GPA last fall. She was named to the ACC Academic Honor Roll the past three years and was selected as this year's Athletic Director's Scholar Athlete for Women's Soccer. She was also inducted into Phi Beta Kappa Honorary Society. Sarah plans to attend law school after graduation and she would eventually like to pursue a legal career in indigenous rights and environmental law. Our top 10 scholar athlete, Sarah Thompson. All right, hi everyone. One second. First, I just wanna say uh, thank you for this award and putting on this event, really appreciate it. Um, I brought Dr. McLean here with me today. Uh, he's one of my philosophy professors and we met in my junior year when I took his environmental ethics class this past school year, beginning while I interned at the Native Hawaiian Legal Corporation over the summer in Honolulu, um, and then continuing into this past fall, I had the opportunity, opportunity to do an independent study with him in which I researched the morality of secession and ultimately assessed the Native Hawaiian claim for independence. So having the opportunities to do this kind of work one-on-one -on -one with such an exceptional professor and explore issues in our world that I'm most passionate about, specifically social and environmental justice, has been some of the most challenging and rewarding of all my academic experiences here. Getting to know professors like Dr. McLean on a more personal level in the process has been the added bonus. Truth be told though, my Carolina experience did not go exactly as I envisioned it would, and this probably has been one of the reasons it has been so valuable and so fun. To start, when I applied for early admission during my senior year at high school, I was denied. Carolina had been my dream school for years at that point and I was absolutely crushed. In a last dish, ditch effort, I wrote a letter of appeal to the Dean of Admissions, Stephen Farmer, asking to be reconsidered in the second pool of applicants. Somehow it worked and I will always be grateful to Mr. Farmer for opening that letter, taking the time to read and consider it and for offering me admission. And while the whole admissions process would have probably been a lot less anxiety ridden and smoother had it gone according to plan, I don't know necessarily once I arrived on campus if I would have taken advantage of so many of the unique programs and people, both faculty and students, that, Carolina, that make Carolina such a special place and have ultimately encouraged my growth both, both academically and as a person. That initial denial served as a reminder of how fortunate I was to be able to spend four years on this campus, especially as a member of the soccer team, but it was also the little push I needed to explore beyond the student athlete niche and get involved in the community in other capacities. Ultimately, I'm extremely grateful for both the breadth and depth of experiences I've enjoyed here at Carolina, from athletics to the classroom and specifically in the philosophy and American Indian and Indigenous Studies departments, to the programs like Apples, Buckley Public Service Scholars, and the American Indian Center. I'm grateful to the people who have made all these programs so special um, among my professors, and in addition to Dr. McLean, Melinda Maynard Lowry, Keith Rashat, and Dan Cobb. In their lessons and in our personal interactions, they have challenged me to reflect on my own values and beliefs, sometimes reconstructing new ones, and other times reaffirming and strengthening old ones. And most importantly, to take ownership of them, to apply them in my work, and to act on them in my daily life. And lastly, I'm grateful to my friends, such a hardworking, conscientious, kind, and funny bunch. I wish we had four more years. Thanks, guys. Go Heats.